When you started out this project, what was the inspiration? We started this uh, Baltic Sea Media project because we'd like to do something about our own backyard. I have a summer house very close to the Baltic Sea and my colleague Matthias Klum has a summer house as well. And uh, we didn't have to go abroad, far away places to find the environmental problems. Uh, and that made us focus on the Baltic Sea and it was important for us to be long-term uh, minded. We wanted to um, spend at least 10 years uh, checking the environment. But uh, the fact that you live there and it's uh, your own and our own backyard actually made this topic quite personal. How did that affect you? Absolutely, it's very personal to me because my four kids, they enjoy the Baltic Sea, but they don't enjoy the Baltic Sea if there's no fish there or if they have to uh, swim uh, in algae bloom, for instance. And I wanted to um, uh, try to show what's at stake, but also show what can be done. And uh, it's not rocket science, this. Uh, small measures can actually have a lot of great impact. We were talking earlier about possible solutions and you were telling us that you will show glimpses and you have shown glimpses of what the solutions are as well. The, the films we make are very focused on the problems of course but not only the problems we try also to show uh, ways of making things better. One of the things you, you mentioned during your talk was the fact that there was quite a bit of talk and not enough action uh, and in terms of the, the vision 2030, which is one of the themes of this conference. How do you see that happening? I think um, we have to try to uh, take measures and then in the short uh, term go back and check what has been happening. So we not leave the problems without um, actually uh, trying to find what has worked and what has not worked. I think a lot of time is spent on uh, trying things out and then just leaving it as, as, as it is. We have to work um, both long term and short term, but uh, get short term results. If we don't reach short term results, there is no incentive for working long term. In terms of uh, touching and influencing people, these films are, are very good, of course. Where can uh, uh, our public and the people watching this clip uh, get them? We have a web page um, and they are free to download from the web page. It's saverc.com and there is education material that goes with the films and there are short versions of them and they can be used uh, in schools, um, in any, any education environment actually.